Hello, and welcome back to Cardano Coin, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing ADA news. We're giving away 1000 ADA to those who are watching, all you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment Cardano is king and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. Investors are constantly seeking for potential cryptocurrencies to invest in as the number of new digital assets keeps increasing. The Cardano blockchain allows all of its investors to claim native tokens from the most diverse projects. And this is just plain awesome. According to investors, crypto airdrops made it possible for new companies to reach a wider audience and provided access to free Cardano tokens. In a sense, the pyrotechnics are lost if you miss the airdrops, ADA. Cardona, however, has existed since 2017. It wasn't until last September that a platform update made smart contracts possible. And the foundation of everything we've seen in cryptocurrency over the past several years, from decentralized applications to decentralized banking, is smart contracts. So let's dig a little bit deeper. Building tokens on the platform is now possible for projects thanks to smart contracts. One noteworthy example is Ethereum. Thousands of tokens, the most of which adhere to the ERC-20 standard. Currently operational Cardano smart contracts on the Ethereum network. Currently, we are witnessing a reproduction of what is occurring in Ethereum. And even better, the proliferation of new Cardano-based projects is largely responsible for the airdrops. Building smart contracts was more of a foundational step that opened the door for larger Cardano projects. In case you didn't know, airdrops are a way to obtain free cryptocurrency. If you meet a certain set of requirements, there are strategies for collecting as many users tokens of new initiatives as feasible. Therefore, we can essentially refer to it as a tool to speed up adoption. However, I suppose you would be wondering where and how we will obtain these Cardano airdrops. Let's work together to resolve that, then. Just remember that the Cardano ecosystem is still quite young in comparison to Ethereum. Therefore, as an investor, you can amass a ton of Cardano-based tokens at this time, but they now have very little value and are incredibly difficult to exchange for other cryptocurrencies. Additionally, each withdrawal you make will cost you a few ADA. Although there are no assurances in the world of cryptocurrencies, Cardano was a strong contender to develop into an Ethereum rival. After all, this is still an Ethereum killer, even though it doesn't actually require that moniker to be successful. Let's keep it simple and say that all Cardano needs is a piece of the smart contract economy that Ethereum has established. We are currently seeing the emergence of numerous new Cardano-based projects. You got the gist, right? Many will undoubtedly fail, but at least a few should live and prosper. The best course of action is to take advantage of as many of these airdrops as you can before waiting. You will be one step ahead even if only one or two turn out to be useful. Freebies are quite popular. And I think it's really lovely when these freebies are cryptocurrency tokens. Crypto airdrops offer odd advantages, but they also have some significant drawbacks. To raise interest in the popularity of their new project, companies airdrop their tokens. The corporation that releases the token, of course, sets the prerequisites for becoming eligible to receive airdrops. It is important to note that the airdrops, like any other cryptocurrency, would not be possible without blockchain technology. Some notable examples of these requirements include the need for many users to share a company post on social media, test the platform's beta version, subscribe to a newsletter, or simply like and comment on a company post. This suggests that tokens must first be produced using their recently developed blockchain technology. Startups will then be able to send users crypto wallets where they may claim such airdrops. Cardano has a sizable ecosystem with several projects that are actively being worked on, some of which are crucial for success. There are thousands of projects, and it's easy to miss some of them, particularly for community members who aren't paying attention to the accounts of the smaller projects. Digit Algorithmic Stablecoin has been one of the most talked about Cardano initiatives after the Luna incident. There are two groups of users, those who think the algorithmic stablecoin backing will collapse, and those who don't. 
Additionally, some who think Cardona can withstand the pressure that USD was unable to name the most recent article developers of JED have released a screenshot of JED Pay, a payment option that will be accessible after the stablecoin launches in January 2023. Decentralized passive investing solutions are also essentially the backbone of the DeFi sector, which is anticipated to eventually serve as Cardano's primary growth engine. It turns out that this was the primary focus of the debut of the decentralized yield products for optimal finance, which also featured liquidity bonds. Additionally, the opening of the first EXO-based decentralized exchange would be a significant milestone for Cardona to achieve, as evidenced by the enthusiasm of the community. Only 27% of the time remains till the introduction of the Cardano mainnet spectrum, according to the official statement. Spectrum will introduce the SPF token prior to its introduction on the main net. Users are simultaneously looking forward to the yield forming on Ergo Spectrum's going live. Colleagues at Optimal Finance have already discussed the significance of the development of the DeFi sector. Their products are heavily reliant on the existence of active projects on the network and will fail in the absence of projects like Spectrum Laboratories that are actively being developed. Recently, Card Babbage version 5.0.0 app was made available on Ledger Live, according to a tweet from Ledger Support. With this new update, users are now able to write smart contracts using the latest improved Plutus script. Version 5.0. of Babbage of the Tweet Red Cardinal app is now accessible for download on Ledger Live. You can use this test app in conjunction with the standard V4AB to execute Plutus smart contract transactions. While introducing new foot, they also alluded to upcoming advances that will be comparable. In response to a question regarding the XCT NFTS's launch on the ledger. On the firm's support page, it was said that future plans included adding NFT support for additional blockchains. Ledger added that although there is currently no expected start date for the project, the neighborhood will soon receive further details. Cardinals Babbage is aptly named after the inventor of computers, Charles Babbage, and is intended to iron out any kinks from his previous release of Alonzo. One of the busiest smart contracting platforms, Cardona, is still under development and adding new features as the blockchain develops. The most recent release of the Deadless Wallet, which introduced support for the Babbage app with better ledger JavaScript, was released earlier in October. By doing this, users of the Cardona full node desktop only software will have access to Cardona Babbage version 5.0.0, allowing them to write smart contracts utilizing the most recent Plutus scripts from the Vessel upgrade. It's also important to note that the community's reactions to the most recent wallet were conflicting. While some people have praised the hardware wallet integration features, others have emphasized that the wallet still has some flaws that need to be resolved. Notably, Charles Hoskinson, the developer of Cardano, stated in a YouTube video two months ago that the network might do away with official wallets in the future. He predicts that the network will eventually enter a stage when standards are developed and certified wallets and uncertified wallets can exist side by side. As was to be expected, the crypto community on Twitter reacted favorably to Ledger's most recent statement. A user who has been using the apps on his Ledger Nano X for weeks claimed that it worked perfectly in the same way to CTO Input Output Global used the opportunity to swipe at claims from FTX Assam Bank when fried, describing Cardano as a new blockchain. There were a ton of positive responses and questions to the Ledger supporter's most recent tweet. Cardinal released the steps for accessing the app along with the update. However, the Cardano network users are not content despite these fantastic chances, which are thought of as free. Elon Musk has been previewing a significant ban wave that will largely wipe bots and zombie accounts from the platform for a few days. Naturally, many questions have been raised by this action. Networks like Cardano are currently experiencing an increase in scammers and illegal activity as the ecosystem growth is consistently increasing. Musk's intentions to end the reign of bots and scammers on Twitter may turn into a long-term battle rather than a single ban wave that will purify space. An announcement on the debut of the Midnight Cardano sidechain was made recently. But contrary to what users believed, the message was really delivered by a scammer who used a well-known handle to entice users and trick them into sending their money to different addresses in exchange for rewards. 
users and investors sometimes become discouraged by these issues. However, Cardano's achievements should offset its terrible losses. You should absolutely keep an eye out and pay attention as the time has come for third-generation blockchains like Cardano to offer solutions to scalability and interoperability challenges as well as open up new potential for the general adoption of blockchain technology. Of course, what do you think about this? Comment below with your thoughts and let us know. Check watch previous videos to see how Cardona is living up to the fantasy of being the DM killer before we discover in the following video what happens. Be sure to always click the subscribe notification buttons.